I thought this person was my twin flame. Now I've met someone new and I wonder if the other person was my twin flame at all. I'm so confused. Hi everyone, welcome to Twin Flame Weekly, episode 20. Hard to believe it's episode 20 already. So the topic that we're talking about today, this whole thing of meeting someone and then questioning whether your twin flame was your twin is something that came up multiple times in the Infinite Love membership experience last week. It came up about three or four times in the space of 24 to 48 hours. So if it's something that my tribe were experiencing, then I know that many of you will be going through this too. So we're going to dig into that today. Um, before we do, um, I do have some videos on five signs you've met your twin flame and also what's the difference between a twin flame, a soulmate and a karmic partner. So I'll link them um, down below. So do go check that out. So that's not really what we're covering today, but we are talking about the terminology and how we react to it, right? Because we can know the terms and still lose our shit. So we're gonna get into that. Before we get stuck in though, if you've never watched my videos before and you don't know who I am and what I'm all about, my name's Cheryl Muir and I'm a catalyst for twin flame healing and ascension with the mission to heal the divine feminine heart, one twin flame at a time. I wanna thank all of you for watching these videos, for tagging friends, for commenting, for sharing and for watching on the DL. I know there are many of you that do, thank you. I, it really means a lot to me and I'm very, very grateful. Uh, Mowgli's about to walk through the shot. Hi Mowgli, I'm just gonna continue. This is my cat's bum. Do you want to sit with me? You sit with me then, sweetheart. Okay, he's not going to, is he? No, he's so not gonna do it. Um, I'm Cheryl, this is Mowgli. <laughs> and this is Mowgli's first episode of Twin Flame Weekly because Mowgli, lives in the Lake District. I have been living in Reading and I'm, I'm now back up in the Lake District uh, for family reasons. Um, and you might think, well, that looks like your background in Reading. That's because I have no chill whatsoever and I'm extra and therefore um, I Googled uh, like a maniac. I Googled um, Triangle Wallpaper UK, like typed away and it came up and I found it and ordered it online and here we are. So that's the magic of the internet and the magic of video. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I am in the lakes, so I'm not in Reading. You can probably tell by my new props as well and this new prop as well. Incidentally, um, if you guys follow me on the IG stories, you will have seen that Mowgli's been doing some really weird stuff recently. Like he was sat under the tree for six hours yesterday, not consistently, but like in chunks over a period of six hours. And then he was asleep on the bin today, you know, the outside bins that they take out in the UK. Um, he was sat on top of them for like three hours sleeping. It was really odd. And then he's been around me a lot today. So there's something going on energetically for sure. There's been lots of other weirdness too. Um, and if you are friends with me on Facebook, you'll see me post the other day, um, as I'm filming this Saturday, so today, about the energy. There's been some really intense energy. So that actually will have an effect on what we're talking about today, this whole thing of I thought this person was my twin. And now I'm really confused. Um, another announcement as well, which is really hard to make as Mowgli's in front of me. Cats are such jerks, aren't they? But we love them. He's probably gonna lick his butt as well in front of you, but you know, he's got no shame. Um, another announcement is that, oh, hi sweetheart, his nose is so cold and wet. That's good, right? It's a healthy thing. Um, another thing is that for September, I've got an offer on sessions. So you can book a session with me and the deal is called two for 200. So it's two, two sessions for 200 pounds. And that's a really good deal because it's usually 150 for one session. So there are five places and it's going to run throughout all of September or until all the places are taken. So five places, two for 200 and the booking link is down below. Mowgli's looking at a, um, like a vehicle, a van Volvo-y thing uh, going up the, the lane. He's looking out the window. The window is just there. So I'm really distracted because I'm looking at my boy. Um, did you know Mowgli actually came over from Canada along with this? This is from Canada. This is called an Inukshuk. This is from the Gambia in Africa. There's a really beautiful story behind this actually, which I might tell you one day. Um, I was going through some stuff the other day and it was like a box of things, like a box of tricks. And I, it's stuff that I'd moved around the world, but kept with me and there were little mementos. And you know, when you move and you sort of purge stuff, like when you're moving countries, you really um, have to be quite strict with what you keep. And so, these little mementos that I kept are really symbols. They're symbols of places I've been and memories I've had over the years. So this is called an Anukshuk and it's a, a native uh, to Canada and it's made in, in jade, which is beautiful. 
instantly if anyone knows what the properties of jade are let me know like it's spiritually like what the meaning is i think it's luck and fortune good luck and fortune prosperity i think let me know um but it's got really beautiful energy and an and anukshuk in canada is like protection for travelers so that really meant a lot to me and um, this is made from one piece of wood um and it's dyed with with oils, this is a lighter oil, and obviously this is a, I think it's called a black castor oil, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but we met the the artist on the beach in the Gambia, beautiful, beautiful soul, um, incredible, incredible man, and it's made from one piece of wood, and I saw this, and I'm like, wow, that's Twin Flames, isn't it, and this is, I went to the Gambia in 2008, um, obviously Twin Flame wasn't in my life, I didn't even know it was a thing at all. Unexpected story time with Cheryl there, but nevertheless, <laughs> let's persevere. I'm getting really distracted by Mowgli. He's never been in a video before, so it's been very exciting for him, I'm sure for everyone watching. Uh, but yeah, so I did bring him back over from Canada. He came back with me. Um, he's a rescue and he's amazing. He was actually uh, my friends, Jen and Sheldon's kitten, and I adopted him and he's been with me ever since. He's about five. How old are you? Five? Not going to tell me? Five. Um, and he's really cool. So anyway, we're talking about what happens when you think you've met your twin and then someone else comes along and one of the words um, one of my beautiful twins he said in Infinite Love was, I feel like I don't care at all about the other person. And so in that scenario, you're really questioning, well, was the other person my twin flame? Were they not? Am I crazy? Am I cracking up? I'm really confused. So here's the thing. like I'm really fortunate that in the space that I'm in now, in my growth and development, I... I know my twin is my twin and I know that deep down in my soul. That wasn't always the case though and for me I went through this period of time where the term twin flame really spun me out and I was just thinking before when I was getting ready to shoot I was thinking I don't really remember how I even found the term. I was googling around and obviously it was divinely planned that I stumbled across it and I don't even know what I put into google for it to come up. It was something like um, spiritual relationships or relationships to help you grow. It was that kind of thing because that's what I was feeling. And that was probably like last summer um, and it was it was a couple months after I'd met my twin. So it'd been a bit, bit of time and I'd had an idea of, of what was going on. I knew I was getting triggered. I knew that I was healing, but I just I felt like it was crazy and I was going crazy. And I found the term twin flames and it really, really spun me out because I was reading all this stuff like you and this person are meant to change the world and it's meant to be this big global awakening. And I'm thinking, well, no fucking pressure, right? And also it didn't make sense because when you're in that place where you've just met them and the triggering is really intense and it is really intense. And so you think, well, how can that be the case? Because we're meant to make a difference and yet all I want to do is like put my hands around their neck, right? Obviously don't do that. But like, that's how it feels. It's like this real like push, like push, like push and push and push and pull. It's like magnets turn around, it's like tell each other, and come back. It's, it's a whole thing. To be honest, if somebody had told me the term twin flame before I had the experience, I would have said it sounded like some crazy shit. And it is really full on, it's intense. There's things like telepathy and synchronicities to the wazoo. Like it's a really weird experience. It's a psychic awakening for sure. Like I said at the start of the video, I'm gonna link um, the videos I did about five signs you've met your twin flame and um, the difference between a twin flame, a karmic partner and a soulmate. Are we keeping you awake? I'm so sorry, just go to sleep. Okay, he's off now. Um, so I'm gonna link those videos down below perfect Mowgli perfect how many of you can actually take me seriously because Mowgli's in the shot like I'm sure you can't but anyway <laughs> what can I say I love my boy um but the point is um there are a lot of people that likely have grabbed a hold of the twin flame label and sort of ran with it and and, and really searched out this person not everyone's a twin and how do we know this? We know this because when we talk about our twin flame experience, people are like, what, huh? What's that? Like, what's going on? Like, they don't understand. And so if everyone was a twin, people would understand when we talked about this weird like, kind of awakening experience we're having, this triggering with someone, this rapid ascension, people would understand, oh, it's a twin flame. But not everyone does understand, therefore not everyone's a twin because not everyone's been through it, right? So that's number one, like not everyone's a twin. And yes, you only have one twin. So that often makes people spin out. It makes people's ego go crazy. Let's just adjust my lighting because that's really, really severe. Um, my lighting's on the side because of the setup here. So we'll go with it. Um, not everyone is a twin, but because we only have, those of us who are twins only have one, this really makes people spin out. So you really have to be careful that you're not using these terms as a badge to decorate your ego. And the thing is, does it really matter that, he's staring at me, he's funny today. Um, does it really matter whether this person is 
a soulmate, a karmic partner or a twin flame, does it really matter? Can you settle in to the unknowing? Can you surrender to not knowing? Can you accept that when more time passes, that you'll have more information and you'll be able to compartmentalize this and file it away and say, oh, that's what that was. Can you do that? Can you sink into that? Can you lean back into that? Now that energy is very, very different to this frantic, is this a twin? Is that a twin? Is this a, da, da, da. here's the thing. We're all humans, right? We're all souls and we're all having the same experience together. We all have soul connections. We all have people who teach us things, right? Whether we're a twin or not, it doesn't really matter. I just have like a flurry of emails coming in. Some things, I'm really scattered today because the energy is really intense. So I do apologize if I'm like all over the map here. But, uh, you know, we, we don't have to label everything. This whole um, like special love thing, let's make this person a twin flame so that they're more special than someone else. Let's elevate them above everyone else. And when you do that and you're coming from a place of wounding as well, you will put up with some bullshit from this person because you go, oh, they're my twin flame. Oh, and I'm also deeply wounded, so I don't think I deserve love. So I'm actually going to sabotage the shit out of this and I'm going to put up with all kinds of bad behavior because he's my twin flame or she's my twin flame. And um, I'm going to put up with anything and I'm not going to leave. Like, that's pretty crazy, right? So does it really matter what the label is? Can for now, can you settle into, I know this person is teaching me something. I don't really know what they are to me, but in time that'll be revealed. And what I know now is I'm gonna clear my side of the um, emotional street. I'm gonna clean up the way I'm feeling. This person's triggering abandonment, fear of intimacy, fear of engulfment, fear of losing myself in a relationship, which is what fear of engulfment is. Um, I know that this person is triggering that in me, so I'm gonna go heal that. Now, many of you may know that I'm an affiliate for Gianna Rackham's course, Clearing Codependency, which I really recommend that you take. It's a beautiful, beautiful body of work. I talk about codependency a lot because it's something that I've healed from, and I will be doing a video at some point in the next week uh, with more details about that. I don't know where I'm going to host the video yet, so just like follow me everywhere and see where it is. It's going to be somewhere on Facebook, I think, because of the video capabilities um, there. But I'm going to be talking about me clearing codependency. And so it's it's really, really important that you take a look at Gianna's body of work. And if you are called to take the course, then do take it. And if you do sign up um, and mention my name after you've purchased the course through her, then you will get two sessions with me, which are regular rate of £300. So it's certainly worth um, keeping that in mind. Uh, that's better, Mowgli. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, but Gianna um, talks a lot about soulmates. And so like you might look at that and be like, oh, but you teach on Twin Flames. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the work is the same. And what Gianna teaches and what I teach is based on the same principles of like, love yourself first, heal your wounds. And it actually doesn't matter what label you're giving to the other person, right? And codependency, like I said, is such a pervasive thing. A lot of people do struggle with it, especially in the Twin, twin Flame community. I remember seeing a tweet um, sometime last summer, I think it was, and someone had tweeted something. It was really like vicious. And they said something like, I want nothing to do with twin flames. I've never seen so much toxic, wounded, codependent mess in my entire life. And they were completely bashing the twin flame community. And I was like, you know what? That's really out of line. However, um, even though the way, the way they went about it was not coming from a good place, they're actually not wrong, right? There are a lot of very codependent people in the twin, twin flame space. Now, does that mean you're not a twin flame? Not necessarily. It might mean that you have codependency to clear and that is your work. And if so, go take Gianna's course because I talk about it a lot because it's been my experience, but I don't teach on it. It's very, very specialist and Gianna is really an expert in that. So, it could be that that's your wounding, or it could be that you're not a twin and you haven't met a twin and you're trying to make other people special and that's coming from a place of wounding, right? When we heal that wounding, and, and it's really important too that you develop your own definition of what is it to be codependent. And for me, it's losing yourself in another person. It's not knowing where you start and another person ends. It's finding your meaning in someone else. It's taking on board other people's problems and it actually impacts like every area of your life, not just romantic relationships, but Friends, family, co-workers, um, clients, business, having a platform, your audience, your tribe, it impacts everything. If you're looking for validation outside of yourself, then of course that's going to cause you problems everywhere. 
And it, when codependency is really, really advanced, it can make you feel like something is really wrong with you and you are really reactive and really angry all the time and people just think you're kind of, um, you're a bit of a loose cannon, but actually you've bottled up all these emotions from taking care of people who didn't ask to be taken care of. So anyway, that's enough about codependency. I go off on a tangent about it because it, it is so important. But you could be like really losing yourself in this other person and saying they're a twin when they're not a twin. Or you could have genuinely thought, you know what, this person seems like they, they might have been a twin. And then someone else comes along and you go, oh, were they a twin or not? Here's the thing, like when it comes down to it, does it matter, right? Are you happy? Are you happier than yourself? Has this person helped you to heal in some way? Because no matter what they are, they're a soul catalyst and that's a really, really beautiful thing. I also have a quiz on my website, Have You Met Your Twin Flame? So go take that and that is going to help you gain some clarity. That quiz though is just another tool, right? And you can take quizzes and you can, um, you know, watch my content and do all of that. But at the end of the day, all of this is a guide. It's nuggets of information and I'm giving you these nuggets of information so that you can put this through your own filter and use your own level of discernment and decide for yourself, right? So the quiz is super accurate, but at the same time, like it's a guide. It doesn't mean you, can you see that fur flying? That's like intense, my oh boy. Um, but at the same time, like it's a guide that you have to use your own discernment and decide for yourself and then say, does it even matter what this person is to me? Like I said, like I know my twin is my twin, um, <laughs> but, it, it was a process for me. Oh my gosh, there's like a little draw space here, but like there's not a drawer in the middle. It's like just a space. He's putting his head in it. You can't fit in there. Please don't try. Because I bought this desk off Amazon for like 50 pounds and it's very wobbly and you're 15 pounds of house cat. Um, he's going to try and get inside you guys. Oh my, can you see, can you see this happening? This is not going to go well for you, sweetheart. Just sit here. You go. Something really beautiful does happen with Twin Flames though. Even if you go through this stage of saying, are they my, my twin or not? And, and you might be, a, here's the thing, you might be a twin flame that is going through a doubting phase. And I do find that a lot of true twin flames do doubt at some point that they're a twin flame. Um, and most people that are not twins try and convince themselves of a greater connection. So there's that. But you might be a genuine twin flame that's going through this doubt. Or you might be someone who had the best of intentions and genuinely thought this person was a twin and now comes the realization that this person might not be. But either way, what happens with twins and perhaps with this person as well, is that you will reach a point where you're already healed and they will have healed as well. And that's something that's, that really stands out about twins. When someone is a twin, you heal and every time you up level, they come back to you. Now I'm gonna be creating some content about this because this is another thing that's come up in the Infinite Love Membership Experience where one of my members asked, well, why is it that my twin always comes back every time I up level? And that's happened to me too. So I am gonna be tuning into spirit and really um, getting an answer on that for you. So I really, really hope that serves you. Um, and that's something that does happen with twins. So when you heal, they will come back every time you up level. And if it's a karmic partner or a false twin, and we haven't even got into false twins today, that's another story for another time. Um, I've had a false twin experience. And I didn't know that's what it was at the time, but I know that to be the case now. Again, time passes and you have more information. Um, with a false twin, when you heal, they'll sort of disappear. And with a real twin, when you heal, they'll come back. So that's something that's really worth bearing in mind too. All right, my loves, that was some really cobbled together thoughts today. I was very distracted by Mowgli. As you can tell, he's grooming his bum right now. I mean, cats don't give a shit, do they? That's kind of what's amazing about them. Um, so yeah, like sometimes you just need to settle in to not knowing if this person is your twin or not. Like I said, the phrase really used to make me spin out. Um, and I was like, I want no fucking part of this twin flame thing. This sounds like 50 kinds of crazy. And spirit was like, just you wait, kiddo. Just you wait. You're going to be teaching on this. Really, it's up to you as well to take all of this information and use your own discernment, right? I used to follow, I mean, so many Twin Flame teachers, some of whom stayed with me throughout the journey, many of whom kind of fell away at different points and others who I now look at and I'm like, hmm, that's not really accurate. But I really have this thirst for information. And so I watch videos like on the daily, uh, maybe you're there too. And that's, that's perfectly fine. Like I'm sure I'm one of many teachers, you're absorbing their information, but be sure to put it um, through your own filter. Like if you're following someone who says my way is the only way like run a fucking mile because that's not cool i really like the people that i followed who ended up saying um you know if if what i'm saying doesn't resonate or you feel like it's best for you to unfollow me then go ahead and do that for those people i actually still follow them today but i really love that they were so selfless in their information that they said you know what if 
if it's best for you to just like not subscribe to this, then don't. Um, and it was really interesting because you may know that Infinite Love um, became a membership um, program recently. So it's group coaching with me and obviously the details will be in the links. Um, but it was a free group to start with. And as I realized what support people needed and as I realized the level of um, service I was giving and the level of involvement because I'm in the group every day coaching, what I realized was it was better for everyone if it became a, a membership program. And what was so incredible is there were a lot of people that stayed on and the people that left, and I messaged everyone privately, there was 100 people in the group. I messaged everyone privately and the, the messages that came back were so loving and so heartfelt and so many people were saying, you know what, I've actually, you've done such a great job in the group that I've got so much information from it that I'm actually good now. And there's no greater feeling than someone benefiting so much from your teachings that they're able to go fly the nest and go do their thing and that's beautiful and there were other people who have said you know what I don't want to be around twin flame content right now because it's really I really just want to focus on me and I don't want to focus on the twin flame thing and I said that's perfect too and I really respected that so if you are encountering a teacher who's like you must stay and listen to all this like that's bullshit just take what serves you leave the rest and use your own discernment and so if you want more twin flame teachings I post about twin flames pretty much every day on almost my social medias. Um, so I am at Cheryl Jamie on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And my website is CherylMuir.com. You can find out all the details for how to work with me there. If you do want to book one of the five places for two for 200, that's two sessions with me for 200 pounds. And one session is usually 150. So that's a really good deal. The details of how to book two for 200 will be in the links. And that's running all throughout September and or until all the places are taken. I love you guys so much. And I will see you next week.